Hello everyone, this is Nikun Shah and in this video we will see what are the different types of packet captures and how to use them in user experience insights. Now, as we all know that one of the main aspects of UXI is to simulate network connectivity and capture and point any errors and issues faced. With this capability, UXI enables its users for extensive packet capture for remote troubleshooting and identifying the root cause of the errors. With that being said, there are two main mechanisms for packet capture within UXI. You can get a quick chunk of recent packets with on-demand packet capture feature or if a sensor detects an issue, an immediate packet capture is initiated automatically and is available for offline analysis. This is the triage based packet capture feature. Now, there are two things to note here. First of all, the capture files generated using both these methods are available in form of PCAP files for 30 days. And second, PCAP files are only available if the sensor has a connection to the UXI backend via Wi Fi or Ethernet. Packet capture files will not be uploaded via cellular connection. Let's jump into the first type on demand packet capture feature. Once we are on the sensor status page, we can scroll to the actions tab. Now you will only see this tab only if you are an admin for the account. Data collected by the sensor is made available for download through this download data button. Now here my email ID is pre-populated or I can enter something if I want. I'll select the sensor for which I want the data. And last, I will select a time frame. This sends me an email with a link to download the Excel file. This file consists of event logs with latency, jitter, and packet loss for each individual test. This second button is for requesting a PCAP file. Each sensor maintains a real time rolling packet capture buffer of 50 MB or around 6 to 10 minutes worth of data. When requesting a PCAP file, the current rolling packet capture buffer on the sensor will be uploaded as a zip file and you will receive a notification on the dashboard when finished. The zip file contains the default packet capture with wireless 802.11 frames between the sensor and the AP. Second, a datagram packet capture with wireless unencrypted sensor communication. And third, an Ethernet default packet capture if applicable. It will take a couple of minutes for these files to get generated and you will receive a notification on the dashboard when it is finished. This was the on-demand packet capture feature. Now let's look at the second type, triage based packet captures. If the sensor runs a test and the test fails, the sensor will enter into an automated triage mode where it attempts to replicate the issue and perform root cause analysis. During triage, the sensor uploads a packet capture which is attached to the issue report and available to access from the triage screen. So for example, if I again click on my sensor with some errors and pick one of the errors, this is the triage mode. On scrolling through the bottom, I see two buttons. Export as text file will immediately download a text file with all the above errors in a text format. And clicking on the download packet capture downloads a zip file. Now the contents of this zip file are similar to that of requesting a PCAP file action which we saw earlier. It contains a default packet capture with wireless 802.11 frames between the sensor and the AP, datagram packet captures with wireless unencrypted sensor communication. These can further be investigated by network admins in tools of their choice. So this was triage based packet capture. Now there is a provision for you to disable the packet capture altogether if need be. To do that, you can either disable them globally for all sensors by going into the settings, selecting company, and under global config, you can either enable or disable the packet capture. Or if you want to do it for a single sensor, then we can again go to settings, select sensors, click on the edit button, going into the advanced menu, and then select disabled. We also have two other options for packet capture. PCAP light and PCAP full. For PCAP light, the sensor will only upload a PCAP file on the first discovery of an issue. For PCAP full, the sensor will upload a PCAP file for the first discovery and confirmation of an issue. 
So with that, we come to an end of this video. I hope you liked this video and learned something new. I will see you in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.